Hi everybody, um, my name is Lauren. Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Um, this is the first video that I've ever posted to YouTube before and I thought the way I would do it is to just kind of get straight through and post it and then we can kind of go from there um, as far as any editing, etc. that I need to do in the future. But anyway, um, I should have started this with saying what this blog is going to be about. I've been inspired by many people in the YouTube community, um, uh, regarding like reveal videos, bag videos, shoe videos, what's in my closet videos, um, beauty reviews, that type of thing. Uh, aside from what I do for a job, um, I work in the city of Chicago in a professional industry. Um, those types of things are just my ultimate passion in life. So I thought I would start today by doing a reveal video of a bag that I just got, well, I just opened for my birthday, um, which was last week. It's actually a bag that I bought in May when I was on a spending hiatus. And so because I like shopping so much, I purchased it in advance um, and then unwrapped it ultimately for my birthday. So we're going to just go right into this first reveal video. Um, please, obviously, after this is over, leave your questions and concerns and comments below. Um, let me know what I can do to improve. Let me know if this is even worth it because I'm not even sure it is, but I thought it'd be worth a try because it seems like a lot of fun. So Anyway, first bag that I am revealing on um, YouTube is the Celine belt bag. So I bought this from, I'm in Chicago. I don't know if you can tell from my horrendous accent, but I'm from Chicago and I bought this guy in May at the Barney's down here in the Gold Coast. And it's I'm not great with Celine, as you guys are going to find out. I'm a huge lover of the House of Chanel. So this is my first belt bag. So I'm not sure how, what the leather is called, but it's similar to like a caviar leather. It's like a grained leather. The bag is gray. The hardware on it, although minimal, is gold. Sort of like a brassy, almost like an antique gold. And I'm really excited about this. I just have really big, strong feelings about gray and gold for the fall for some reason. I just think it's going to be great to wear with like flannel and um, really good for work and you know something that you can kind of transition from day to night although I do really plan on using this as a work bag so in all I'm really excited about it I thought I would do a little bit of a kind of what's in my bag and a review um, of the bag overall uh, as far as like brass tacks of this thing are concerned it has two handles this first one is not intended to go over your shoulder it's sort of the type of thing you could probably get on your forearm. I don't know if I'm going to carry it this way because I think it's a little, the bag itself and what I have in it's a little heavy. So uh, to me, that's not that practical. But the strap drop length, I've got a ruler here is about three and three quarters. And then it has this longer detachable strap. This I love. It hits right around, so I'm 5'5". Five five. It hits right around my rib cage, which is sort of a little refreshing break from Chanel bags that are either crossbody or hit down at your hip. So excited about that. This is detachable. The strap drop length on this is about 13 and a half inches. So um, this is the strap that I think is a little bit more uh, practical for day-to-day -day wear. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's like right around here. Sorry, you can see all my like office furniture in the background. I'll hopefully get a better setup one day. So it kind of looks like that. Definitely not something that'd be practical for or even doable as a crossbody bag. Um, the, I wrote this down, these little belts here, they don't come off. They're about 11 inches a piece. Um, the width of the bag, so just right across the front of this bag, we're talking 11 inches. The height of the bag is 9 inches. And then as far as sort of this, I guess you'd call that depth, um, it's about six inches at the bottom and narrows up to four or so inches at the top. This is pretty malleable, so I think there's maybe a little room to move on my measurements, but more or less that's what's going on. Um, it has a pocket on the back. I think that's good for your phone. And then it has the, we'll get into this in a minute, but it has a giant pocket in the front. There are two interior pockets on the bag that are really useful. And then something that I really like about it ultimately are the feet on the bottom of the bag. So when you put this thing down on a surface, you, the actual leather is not going to touch the surface, which is something that I find uh, very useful and kind of adds to the 
overall impression that this bag is pretty durable. So I'm very excited about that. Um, as far as what's inside of it, um, it's not full by any means. It carries quite a bit. I'd say probably carries more than the um, Chanel Maxi, probably less than some of the Chanel totes like the GST or the Executive tote. And then I don't really have a great comparison as far as Louis Vuitton is concerned, but the bottom line is that the bag holds quite a bit. I should have mentioned this in the beginning. This is the mini belt bag. It is certainly not mini. So if you're looking to get one, um, don't be fooled by the name. It's pretty big. I don't know that I've seen the regular size belt bag. I don't know that it's that much bigger, but um, again, this is the mini size. So anyway, as far as what's in it, hopefully you guys can see this, but this is the interior of the bag you can see where that little in the background there's like a little speckled thing that's a mirror there are two pockets in the back that that mirror goes into that's probably a pretty good you can see though the pocket next to it is empty but anyway um as far as what's in it we have this little mirror from j crew i bought this it was on sale like ages ago just carry it around to do my makeup and that type of thing. It was like three bucks. It's no big deal. One of those like sale purchases. I have my wallet. I have quite a few wallets. So if you guys are ever interested, they're all Chanel. So if you're ever interested in like a small leather goods reveal, please let me know because I have tons of these. This is, um, this I purchased in the spring and it's part of that iridescent like calfskin movement. Um, the boy bags came in it. There was like a pink, a yellow, a uh, sort of like an ice blue and then um, this purple. Sorry if you guys can hear sirens in the background. We are in the city of Chicago after all. And then uh, inside of the wallet, we could do a better reveal later, has three little compartments. Got them like junk. I love this thing. It holds way more than you would think it does and it's extremely durable. So that's in there. We have my ancient and falling apart Chanel card case. You can see the CCs are kind of coming off, but keep all my little business cards in here because you never know when you need them. And then we have my Louis Vuitton key holder. I'm already like, see that my keys are not in here. I'm defeating the purpose of the key holder, which uh, was to protect the integrity of the inside of my bags from keys fold the little keys up in this little doodad. I love this guy. Um, it's in the men's collection. Took me forever to figure that out, but there is not really one for women's. I kind of wish they made a cuter one, but they don't. So whatever, this is what it is. Um, then we have maybe one day if I get a following on YouTube, I have this. I love this. If you're a letter writer, it's from Millie and it's leather and it's a correspondence wallet. I think that's so cute. So I have in my, uh, per, I have personal stationery. I have little um, cards. I always have thank you notes on me because you never know when you're going to need one. That's in this bag. That's kind of fun. And then the last thing I have is I need to get, I need to like upgrade, but um, this is from the inside of a Mansur Gabrielle bucket bag. They don't all, the bucket bags don't all come with this. It's like a little pouch. It clips in on a string and um, I just took it out because I've been using it. I have just a bunch of junk in here. I have like a little perfume. I have this little thing. It holds ibuprofen, my headphones, a couple of lipsticks. Um, in case anybody was wondering, I just really got into these. They're from Chanel and they're like matte. They're like a lip kit. So it's essentially like one of these Kylie Jenner lip kits. Um, this one's uh, excellent. So if you want me to do a review on these uh, new sh matte Chanel lip kits, please let me know because I love them. I don't love all Chanel beauty products, but these are really good. So anyway, that's what's in this guy. And overall, that is what is in the belt bag. So um as far as the pros and cons are concerned, pros, space, sometimes I find, despite the fact that you will soon learn that I have lots of Chanel, um, sometimes I find that Chanel bags are a little, uh, they're a little tough to pack because they're more structured. They're not as, also they tend not to be as big as they look, especially if you've got a classic and it has a double flap on it. So, um, so I love the space element. I love the fact that this is like kind of more malleable. I don't feel 
know, worried about breaking a seam in it. I love the leather. I think it's going to be very akin to probably like the Louis uh, canvas or, you know, maybe even the caviar leather from Chanel. Um, I love the feet. I think that adds to, like I said, adds to the durability element where you don't have the bottom of the bag resting on any particular surface. And I like the handle length a lot. The one con I have with this only con that I have with this is that this lock, I haven't seen anybody comment on this yet, but this lock is a little difficult. So the way it works is you'll see there's like a groove here at the bottom. This little circle has to fit within that groove. So you do sort of find yourself pulling down and then it clicks up, like as you hold the handle. So that's a little difficult. If you don't have this thing shut, in this little groove and you are utilizing one of these handles, I do find that the bag sort of tends to fall forward. And especially considering that I've been carrying around quite a bit of stuff in it, it's not, it doesn't feel very secure. So um, that's the only, my only cautionary uh, tale with respect to this bag. But anyway, um, that's it for the Celine belt bag. So please let me know what you think of this video. Be harsh in your comments. I know um, on a professional level, I tend to talk fast. So I hope you guys all heard everything that I said. And then if you've seen anything in this video that you want me to comment further on, um, just let me know. I'd be happy to do so. Questions, concerns, subscriptions, likes, all appreciated. Thank you.